Okay. <laughs> Hi, LinkedIn family. Uh, my name is Sandra. I'm a nutrition and certi I'm certified nutrition and life coach. Not that it matters, but I'm going to say that. And I started this um, segment called Getting in Your Business with Coach Sandra. So today, my first guest is Valeria, the confidence coach. Valeria, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm a little nervous. I have to see. Look at I'm all red. <laughs> and you know me. I don't get nervous, but I, I wanted this to go really well for us. So how are you doing? I'm actually really, really good. Thank you so much for taking me in. I really appreciate it. It's super fun. And you're nervous. I'm nervous. I've never done anything like this. So I'm nervous too. Let's be nervous together. Well, nor have I. So actually, I feel more calm now that you said that. So I feel much better. So the whole point of the segment is I really wanted to know why people are doing what they're doing. So first, really, why did you want to become a coach? What's that all about? Oh, well, the, the story goes way back, but the way I like to narrow it down, um, I had a liver transplant out of nowhere for no reason whatsoever. And I'm saying that because the doctors have no clue. And then uh, it, instead of waking me up and saying, okay, now it's time for life and real life, I actually decided that no, I need to go back to the same exactly nasty life that I had before that. Nevertheless, uh, if I didn't learn that lesson then, COVID happened. And everybody kind of had to go with it. And that was my savior, which meant me having more time for myself to take care of myself, my body, my mind. And I got at the end of 2020 being curious about finding my purpose. And I reached out to a life coach. And that's how my story started of coaching. <laughs> so, oh, so that's interesting. So, and again, even though we sort of know each other, I don't know the story, which which is why I'm doing this because I really want to know the reasons why. So that's interesting. So you had a life coach and that made you want to do this. Is that, is that what happened? Something triggered you in that? Yeah. So my previous word was giving me a lot of great um, moments as in I used to work with clients. And the beauty of my job was to talk with clients, you know, five to six hours a day and find them fantastic um, holidays around the world. So that, that was really cool. And through those conversations, it wasn't just me selling those uh, holidays. It was a lot of building relationship with those clients. I, I knew, you know, the, the birthdays of their uh, daughters, uh, sons, uh, granddaughters and what was happening in their life. So for me, that was really exciting. Um, however, through the pandemic, obviously the dynamic of work changed because nobody was traveling and that aspect of my job kind of disappeared, right? Like at this point, people were kind of like very worried. So we didn't really talk about holidays anymore. And I realized that there's no pleasure so much in my work anymore. And I wondered what's my purpose? And yeah, um, towards the end of the year, 2020, because I was feeling much better in my body and I cannot tell you how much better because I used to wake up with pain all the time for three years. That was me. Wow. And um, what happened was that I realized that I don't have pain anymore. And I, I think that was pretty much the next thing. You know, once you take care of your body, then it goes to your mind. And when that gets a little bit clear, it was... Okay, what's my purpose? I, I love, I, well, first of all, you know, I, I'm a nutrition coach. Health is, for me, the most important thing. So to, for you to make that connection with your, your body first and your mind happening after that, it totally makes sense. It, it totally makes sense. So the next question I have for you is why confidence coach? Where did that come from? <laughs> Because I don't know any part of my life ever when I haven't at least looked like confident. So there were moments when I didn't feel confident, but I still looked confident. But yeah, I think it's from my upbringing. Um, I'm going to just say it. Um, in my family, the communication style between my parents was screaming at each other, mm. which is not a cool place to be. And I felt the need to take, to be the hero in that story, as in to protect my mom and my brother. So I had to be like very strong in front of my father. And being strong, it's something that I knew pretty much up until, I don't know, 
I can I can say up until 2020, I have been strong, but not necessarily confident all the time, all my life. And um, it just fitted me. It's like if I look at any point in my life from a place of being strong or and confident, I took action. Yeah. It, it feels like it goes together for you really, really well. And um, the other thing I wanted to know is who who would you say is your ideal client? Like who, who what makes sense for you as far as uh, getting clients and, and them being ideal for you? What do you look for? Oh, they have to be playful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me! <laughs> That's good. Okay. So... Play you're marketing like we've talked about this sort of on the side about about who you you don't really you you're kind of open to working with with everybody but are there anybody that you would say absolutely not i'm not working with that type of person like something that just doesn't work for you personally um i had some conversations when they wanted to be in my energy field but they didn't want to pay for it which i can appreciate you know the price tag is there for a reason however instead of being a conversation like okay i'm not ready to invest that much maybe at a later time uh, they felt the need to kind of say well do you actually value this much and i was like well if you're questioning my value why are you here <laughs> Um, so they wanted me, but they don't, didn't want to pay the, and then they kind of tried to put me down a little bit to question myself. Mm. And those are the ones that I'm like, oh, you're not my client. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, I know that you like to be challenged, but it's one thing to challenge you with questions. It's another thing to challenge your credibility when you, when, you know, we all work really hard to get where, where we are. So when that's questions, it's kind of like, you know, I, don't, I want to deal with people that are playful, like you said, right? You want to deal with that and have good energy and work on hard things and ask the hard questions. And they may question certain things about the process. But to question, like I get really defensive when somebody wants to question my integrity. It's, it's, it's a tough one. So I, I agree with that. I wanted to ask you also, what are you most excited about that's coming up for you? <laughs> So much, right? <laughs> this, may, this may have to be an extended segment, but we'll we'll do our best. <laughs> well, no, like I mean, what's coming up for me is, to my surprise, I've actually uh, had some interesting conversation this week, and I feel like there's a lot of opportunity there for really great networking with some very cool people. Uh, and I'm super excited by that. And that's like literally in the near future, as in within a week or two. Wow. Um, that's exciting. Yeah. I'm like all giddy, all giddy and giddy. <laughs> you should be. You know, we have to we have to support everybody in the community. But also when something great happens, what I've noticed, and I'm as I said, I'm fairly new to LinkedIn. Um, it's really nice to see people celebrate each other and whether it's tagging in posts and saying I'm so grateful for such and such which you do a lot like you're very gracious I've noticed and I wanted to say publicly that I I love your posts I love your branding I think you know you you just are are just I that's why all these great opportunities are happening because you just kind of in a flow that's what I feel on the outside looking in no, it's it's true, and you know you know you know what your schedule looks like, etc. So, and this is not I'm, this this segment is not meant to um, kiss your ass, so I'm going to say it, but but that's just truly what I feel, and um, the fact that you're the first person to do this, you're not the first booking I had for this, but you're the first person because it's today, so um, so that's exciting. But I, well, of course, it's not going to be broadcast today, but. Um, <laughs> I, I wanted to say that to you because I'm really proud of what you're doing and I look forward to reading your post like what's she going to say today. So as far as that's concerned, I can see there's probably a lot of momentum uh, coming from behind, which is great. That's what that's what's happening for you, right? Yes, because you see, um, I've learned um, this idea from Rich Living, like being an exponential coach, because we have this idea of things are kind of like, you know, let's say, oh, I want 100k this year as income. And uh, we have this math that we kind of break it down 
I don't know, 100k buck per month. What is it? Hey, I don't even, I don't, I don't have the math here. Let's make it 120k to make it 10k a month. <laughs> Exactly. I like numbers like that. Sure. Yeah, so much easier. And then we do this math of like 10K, 10K, 10K. And we feel like, oh my God, the first month didn't reach 10K. And then we kind of put ourselves down and we feel ourselves down. And I'm like, yeah, but what if I'm going to make a lot of work and then it kind of snowballs and uh, I'm going to reach my target. And I know I'm going to reach my target, whichever that would be, but it doesn't have to be linear. It has to be like this, you know, definitely has to be like this. Right. And that's pretty much how my mind works. Yeah. I, love I love it. So what we're going to do, because this segment can't be too long, is what I would love to do is maybe do some follow-ups. Like maybe when something amazing happens, you go, hey, I want to talk about it, that we can we can do this again. Does that sound good? Perfect for me. Okay. We're going to stop here, but anybody who wants to get in touch with Valeria, in the comments, we're going to have a way to reach out to her. So if you want to work with her or if you have anything positive to say or criticism is fine too, but mostly positive we're looking for, um, we're going to leave that in the comments section for you. Um, I'm really excited that you were my first guest. I'm really, it was really, really it was great. And I, I'm hoping that people will really grasp this and embrace this because I really want to get in people's business in a good way and not a nosy way, but in a good way that everybody can kind of find out what the community is all about. There's my timer. Just wanted to make sure I won't do that next time, but these are, these mistakes are going to happen. So, and that's, that's part of the fun. So thanks Valeria. And we are going to close for the day and